I spent about 20 minutes looking at this sculpture's uh, and like I could not tell if it was real or not. Turns out the wasn't the fake part. Hey, I'm Super Senpai, and today we're going to be talking about the art gallery and specifically how to finish this within 24 hours. This guide will help you out if you're going to go for a solo or with a friend. This is the best way to do this, and it's a very common way to do it too. As of April 2020, Red Spawn Rate comes around three days to over a month. And personally, for me, Red started coming. My date started on December 15th. The next time I saw him was January 16th, which is insane to say it took one month in real time. So if we do the math, let's say Red spawns every two weeks. It can take 1.5 years to finish the art museum, which is insanely long. To know Red is on your island, obviously, when you check your map, you'll see a little icon on the top. Red's on your island. And the method we're going to be using is called past to present, which means that when you see red on your island, you purchase your art, then you go back one day, you save, and then you go back forward to one day, and then you purchase it again. Red will always spawn, and the items will always be different this way. So this is the best method to do it. We also call this the Groundhog Day, because if you've seen the movie Groundhog's Day, the day just repeats over and over again. Nothing really gets too affected. So one of the two of your villagers act like they want to move out, but they don't really move out. This also works for characters like Celeste and Gulliver too. So if you're grinding on their DIYs or rusted parts, perfect way to do this too. However, if you go from present to future, the day you see red and then the next day and go back, that doesn't work. I'll explain later in the video, which is a little bit more complicated, but let's just get straight to the point. You see red on your island. There are four different potential options out there. Number one, there's one real, three fake. I spent about 20 minutes looking at this sculpture's uh, and like I could not tell if it was real or not. Turns out the f wasn't the fake part. Turns out it was because there's a book in his hand. So I just stare at that guy's claim this for no reason. And I just, yeah. Me personally, I spent about, I bought nine rock heads because I can tell the difference between this one and this one, which one's smiling, which is not. So it turns out the one that's not smiling, this is the better way to see the image versus the one that's smiling. So this, Use these two because there's no guy out there that shows them properly this way. Now the second option is there's two real and two fake. And this one's kind of troublesome because you're like, okay, then I'm gonna lose one of the real ones. What you do is you actually have a friend visit your island to purchase the art. However, there are some limitations to this method. For example, the person who's traveling to your island can only buy the art once unless they time travel too. If you're doing soloing, you just have to let one go and just pick the painting that's more rarer. Example, if you see a common painting, basic painting, or any of the ones that you can't find fakes for. Typically, they're a lot easier to get. If you gotta choose one, you pick the sculpture. A little list here about the ones I actually did not see as often as the other ones. So if you see those ones, pick them up. The third one is the worst one, which is three real and one fake. This one happened to me on my 10th spawn and I panicked. That situation can happen and if it does, it's a worse pill to swallow if you're doing solo, but you always have the chance to buy the art. The arts don't disappear if you don't buy that one. And the last one, the fourth one, which I hate the most is all four are fake, which is the worst feeling to do. Because you're sitting around like, I just wasted my spawn for red for this. From my experience, it ended up becoming one third was art I wanted to collect and that's new to me. One third was all fake and the one third are I already have that's real. If that's the case, then let's do the math. It will take approximately five years to finish the art museum. So that's, if you want to wait five years, then go nuts. But if you know this part, then yes, do the groundhog method because that will save you so much time because yeah, no, I, I do not want to wait five years to finish my art collection of the museum. When you finish giving, getting all the art and you give the bladders, bladders gives no well, he, he'll say yes, congrats, but that's about it. You don't get any reward. It's even worse than fossil or bug. I was about the same. Fossil doesn't give a and then bug, he doesn't even acknowledge it, but he'll give you the goal in the, the next day. There's no real reward to finishing the art museum except knowing that you did it. I also want to acknowledge the fact that there are some fake art that is amazing, and if you do see them, you should probably get it because they're actually pretty cool. The information stone one, that one's so sexy when it's blue compared to the original black one. So the warrior statue, I also strongly recommend because it's a warrior holding a garden hoe. And that looks so cool right next to your garden. So that fake one is pretty neat. I heard some paintings actually blink. I will totally buy them more often than buy a real painting, to be honest. Anyways, that's all the information you need to know about how to complete the art museum in 24 hours real time. This method should make it more enjoyable because respawn rate is complete, I'm gonna be honest. 
Hopefully they make an update to make him appear more often. Plus art you can share with people. That's how a lot of streamers out there and YouTubers, the reason why they finish the museum so fast is because they had multiple people gain art for one individual person. For me personally, I had to do this all by myself. Um, I had some friends who helped me out and turned out that I didn't need them because I got so many doubles that they could keep the art they bought. This method is the best way to do it solo and do it within 24 hours. That's about it. And if you guys still are still trying to build a robot hero, which I finally finished building and trust me, it was totally worth it. I didn't even realize they could do laser eyes, so that's pretty sick. The cool part with Celeste is if Celeste is used up, so you get all her DIYs, she gives you the actual stars. Five yellow, one zodiac, and one large. She'll give you one of those three options. Awesome stuff, then you don't have to wait for shooting stars. Yeah, that robot here for island is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And if you want help building that, um, comment below and uh, I'll try to help you guys out with the grind too because I think everyone should get a robot hero So I'll be happy to help you out in my game too. Anyways, thanks for watching I know this video is not more for the art per se because there's a lot of videos out there I just want to make sure you guys have a fun excitement get this done as as at the pace that you're comfortable with or even like or faster to the point where you got let's say 80% of the art then the rest of it's just more enjoyable for you in my next video I'm gonna be talking about everything done in Animal Crossing. I find a year loop. I've done everything possible. I, I know all the events are missing, so there's no Halloween, there's no Thanksgiving, there's no Christmas, but there's a lot of cool events that actually happen and a lot of seasonal stuff that are actually really cool. I want you guys to watch it, as well as give me up in my final experience with the fishes and bugs, how I caught them all, and how you guys can find them too. And the most important part, how to get the glow stick. That is the best item in the game, and I'll save that for the next video.